Holy shit. Zach is back, but he was gone. Life is crazy. We are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! oh. We have how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, man, you're strong. You ever talk to Wim Hof? I don't remember. The guy went to f***ing the top of Everest barefoot. And enduring almost two hours in a container full of ice. His radical demonstrations have garnered him devotees and skeptics in equal measure. From the Netherlands, Wim Hof. Simple breathing technique and ice. Do you ignore the pain or do you embrace the pain? Or do you literally not feel any discomfort? I don't feel that pain. I, I love it. This is Wim Hof, and in my opinion, he is the most interesting man on this planet. A true enigma. Known by most as the crazy man from Amsterdam who does stunts in the cold. A freak of nature, and it's easy to see why. After breaking 26 world records, climbing Everest in nothing but shorts, and doing a full marathon in the desert without drinking a sip of water, he is now on a mission to prove the human race is stronger than we believe, and with his method, Everybody has the ability to be happy, strong, and healthy. Happiness, strength, and health. That's my mission. This method is made up from cold exposure, deep breathing, and commitment. Its main aim is to awaken the deeper part of the brain, which was previously thought to be impossible to activate willingly, which allows you to perform at a higher capacity, strengthen your immune system, along with so much more. He's already proven in a lab study that he was able to train 12 ordinary people to fight off an endotoxin where the previous 16,000 test subjects couldn't, which had the scientific community baffled. Now after seeing Yes Fury's documentary with him last year, fair to say I've been fully invested. I've downloaded the app, I've held my breath for over 4 minutes, and I've been taking cold showers pretty much every day. And funny enough, with the power of saying yes, mine and Wim's path was about to cross. How so, I hear you ask? Well, in step the Swedish Prince of Venice, Thomas Bragg. Hello there, my favorite sexy British bastard. I know that I've told you I'm going to live with Wim Hof for a day. I need a friend to come help me, and I would love for you to be that person. If you're free, pack your bags and let's go, baby. We're going in a couple days. No, Zach. Good morning. It's been a while. It feels weird, this one. It feels so long that I've been on like this sort of adventure. It's a shame Jake up here, but this is actually for yesterday's video and I'm just offering a hand. The last time something like this happened with Thomas was in Budapest with Will Smith. Every time I link up with the guys from yesterday, crazy shit happens. to reunite but I think I see him with the mat <laughs> oh my god so after meeting Wim's son Enum we drove towards Wim's home now I've been listening to Wim's voice in my head every day for months now and I couldn't wait to hear it live as well as figure out what he actually had in store for us with his garden is like insane he created this jump experience yeah like in Poland but a little bit lower I've never jumped in cold water why are we doing a cliff jump yeah great <laughs> For him it's an interactive garden. The garden shouldn't be just to sit and look at it. You, you should be taken on into it, you know? What's up, man? It's gonna be great. You are visiting the Iceman, man. <laughs> karma, karma. <is> a <laughs> For what? That's for being a pussy in the first video. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, karma's a bitch. <laughs> Hello. Well, we've arrived at Wim Hof's crazy house. Hey guys! Yo! <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. Mm. This is Zach. How hey, are you doing? Hey, Zach. Good to meet you. Hey, man. Pleasure. And from the moment this man put his arms around me, the trip was pretty non stop. This is yeah. a crazy <laughs> house you have. Yeah, eh? You will be jumping tomorrow, <laughs> bolt water. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Wim, this is a crazy <laughs> space. Yeah, man. We I are love it. Hey man! Easy yeah. does it, the cold will yeah, come! Man. Oh. How deep? How deep is that? Three meters! Do you want to start? You want to do it now? Do it now? I hey man, it. impact theory! <laughs> Just to give you Oh! Wim, did you, did you ever watch the documentary? 
Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, we're back. This is so fun, man. We are the top, man. We are the top. Wim went on to show us his sauna, his teepee, his giant ice bucket, his walk-in freezer that would be minus 25 degrees tomorrow. Did it just half an hour to an hour? It's minus 25. It's gonna be alright. Before jamming a completely freestyled song on his guitar for us. Thomas is here to play. I just wanna go. Right, yeah, so we're here at his, at his house. There's just random stuff everywhere. It's like the most Wim Hof house you could ever imagine. We didn't know what he had in store, but he has stuff in store. If we arrived at his house and he goes on a 45 minute tour and then busts into a 15 minute freestyle on his guitar, then uh, probably gonna get weirder than that. But it's life. So, uh, and, uh, and, uh, What's on the menu tonight then? Uh, we're gonna scare the skin <laughs> you! <laughs> <laughs> Vegetarian man! But I love to eat you! <laughs> I love criticism, because it polishes the diamond of the truth, and then there is no speculation, and then we can say who's crazy, because yeah. I'm fucking crazy about life and my wife. Yeah. How about you? He'd be a great cult leader, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we are together. <laughs> we literally spoke for hours with Wim, discussing his techniques, science, his grand plans to climb Kilimanjaro in his shorts in under 24 hours. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing in Wim Hof's calf? I've been doing the Wim Hof method since May this year. Just being in his house, seeing him walk about. He's been in my ear every day since May. And now he's next door. Up early tomorrow. And we're gonna get cold. And then hot. And then probably cold again. <laughs> I've got a um, sneaking suspicion that I'm gonna remember today until the day I die. <laughs> is an opportunity to get deeper and there's so much shit in the world so we gotta clean up <laughs> <laughs> just clean it up <laughs> we might get on the rock and just jump down and uh, yeah not think just do are you saying right now that says here seat discomfort it says here get your shorts on let's go <laughs> <laughs> and just like that we were off not thinking, but doing. Out into the freezing morning and launching ourselves off a rock into freezing water below. Good morning! <laughs> Don't reason too much. There is no trust, there's no nothing, it's your power, and it's great. <laughs> ah! It's something you love yet. Feet are ice blocks right now. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's just great. Well done. That's oh. better than any coffee. With the cracking start to the morning, I was feeling alive when 10 minutes ago I was groggy. Next up, we're about to experience Wim's world famous breathing method firsthand. The breathing itself consists of 30 to 40 deep breaths, taking in more oxygen than you let out. It's known to have countless positive effects and even some strange involuntary responses such as euphoric laughing, crying, and sometimes similar effects as psychedelics. Wim says the breathing allows you to access deep parts of the brain and these reactions are simply relieving deep trauma we all build up throughout our lives. Matt experienced this in Poland too. Yep, 
It looks mad on the surface, but it's Wim right. assured us it's a healthy part of the process. With Wim's guidance, I was about to go deeper than ever before. Beyond the atmosphere, fully in, letting go. Fully in, and then you let go. Easy is the best way. No force, fully in, letting go. All in. Let go. Here comes the last one. All in. Let it go and stop after the exhalation. Just let go and stop. All good. Keep on going, Zach. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Fully in. Take him fully in. Set. Okay. Come on, Zach. He's coming, he's okay, he's okay. He's into his uh, deep trauma. Okay. Nice act. All good? Yeah. All good. All good. <laughs> he went deep. <laughs> uh, deep, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> That's who you are, Jesus! <laughs> that literally felt like hours. My whole body is still vibrating. Yeah, man, yeah. You did good, you both did uh, great. What we are doing is showing that everybody is able to de-traumatize their bodies through a simple technique, which has shown itself in science. Yeah. Doing this breathing technique the bacteria had no chance. The inflammation had no chance. And you are really high on your own supply. Yeah, man, it's great. That was, that was definitely high. Zach is back, but he was gone. I have no idea what happened to it. You, you like completely passed out. So whatever was going on on the surface then, like to look at. Oh, it was terrible. I did not, I did not feel any of that. I was like more relaxed than ever. That's love, man. <laughs> yeah! This day was just getting better, and it was far from over. We had awakened our bodies, released some trauma, and now we're about to put our bodies to the test. When we turned on the meat freezer. It's a tad dramatic, isn't it? Corpses in freezers. It's 12 and a half now, Celsius. So 10 degrees less. Then together with the wind chill, minus 28, 9, 30. You know, have our freezing moments. Maybe it's going to be minus 31. And uh, yes. Well, the cold is a great way of cleansing. Mother Nature whips you. A quick Google shows that if your core body temperature drops just two degrees Celsius, then your body goes into hypothermia. Half an hour in minus 25 degree cold in nothing but boxer shorts, it's fair to assume you could die. But with the help of Wim, we were prepped and ready. Good luck! It's gonna be alright. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Life is crazy. We are crazy, yeah. <laughs> I feel great. You get in like a trance. Like, yeah. it's like it took four hours or five seconds. Like, I don't know which one. Whenever I touch the camera, my hands would get even colder. So it's my hands and my lips. My lips feel weird. So after another one of Wim's trials, we endured the pain of our cold blood mixing with our hot blood in the sauna. But the games weren't over. Wim had one final challenge. 
That's an enormous amount of ice. I don't know why he thinks I can do more than Poland. We bring it into, yes, theory into practice. Pract ice. You're looking for me, I'm in the barrel. Yeah, man. Ah. Yeah, feels good. Go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down, go down. Great. We're going good. Yeah, man. Now the stoic Swedish prince of Venice Beach was making it look easy. With his focus, 11 minutes flew by. But every second that went by was a second closer to being my turn. Three, two, one. Oh, holy oh, shit. Yeah, 11 minutes. Thomas had done it. He had beaten his personal best and he was a true champion. It was now my turn. We have how long? 10 minutes! 10 minutes? Yeah man, you're strong! I felt determined, plus there was nothing I couldn't do with Wim at my side. As long as he didn't have to go off for a Zoom call, I'd be perfectly fine. See you in a minute, I'm gonna go into the Zoom. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Daddy's abandoning me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bitch! Now it's quite hard to really describe how it feels, but in this moment my breath was being robbed from me. Control your breathing. My teeth were chattering uncontrollably. Stay in control. Everything we had learned to this point was coming into question. The cold seems to silence any other thought you have apart from survival. It's interesting. It's good the whims here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and interestingly, once my body got over the initial shock, it actually got easier. Great way to spend a Monday. I wasn't warm at the end by any means, but with Wim's voice in my head, so I'm fucking crazy. Felt like I One, could do anything. Ten minutes. Shall I do eleven? Do eleven. <laughs> it's gonna be the longest minute of my life. Yeah. Why did I do that? <laughs> I <didn't... laughs> That's eleven minutes. That's eleven minutes. Oh my god, I can't move. I can't. Get... Girl. That is unbelievable. I literally did not think I was going to be able to do that. When I first got in, like the shock of getting in is like, no. Your brain, like the, yeah. the voice in your head literally just goes no straight yeah. away. So after a mad day of pushing my body further than I thought it ever could, it was time to talk to Wim about his new book and why he wrote it. Depression is on the rise. And uh, that's despite of all uh, all the technology, all the power, all the systems, all the civilization. The, uh, depression is on the rise. Why? People have not learned how to deal with their own mood, with their physiology of the mind and the body. Because we are built in naturally, inside, innately capacitated to take care of our own disease, our own uh, mood, our own health. It's not about me. It's about what, what is uh, being told here in the book. Just take on the techniques, which is the essence after so much deliberate work. Breathing techniques, cold showers, and your own beautiful mind and belief. I love it. Right, I'm just jumping in here to say that we're giving away two copies of Wim's brand new New York Times best-selling book, on our Instagram, just follow us there and comment on our recent post and we'll pick two at random. Okay, bye. Hey, should we do one more cliff jump? What Ooh, do you think? I'm, I'm full of fear. Uh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Reflecting on this trip, Wim is genuinely one of the most amazing people I had ever Three, met. Three, two, one, ho! Oh! This man is truly free in every sense of the word, which makes him the perfect messenger to bring the world happiness, strength and health. He doesn't care about wealth or promoting his book. In fact, we had to keep reminding him to film something for it. I will personally be continuing to practice the method on the app as it makes me feel great. Thanks for watching everyone. And as Wim says, don't think, just do. It don't matter where you're going if... This is like a, a Wimsky on the rocks. <laughs>
Live is funny. <laughs> <laughs>